Zaranova. You are the founder and CEO of NMN Bio. So uh, welcome back to Modern Health Span. It's great to see you again. Yes, great to be here again. Super excited. Thank you. So, Dr. Saranova, uh, NMN Bio have recently released a new product, uh, NAD Brain. Here, yes. um, can you talk a little bit about what was the background of the product? I mean, why this particular product, and what did you find during uh, kind of the development? Yeah, absolutely. So it all stems from my research at the University of Birmingham. Uh, and while I was studying neurodegeneration and, you know, working on different NAD boosters, such as NMN as well, something that we published in cell reports showing that NMN does rescue neurodegeneration. And actually a few days ago, I had a call with my lab and they showed me some incredible data that are still unpublished that I can't share today. But I'm, I'm so, so looking forward to coming back to the podcast, maybe in a few months from now, because mm -hmm. we do intend to publish another paper this year um, on NAD uh, boosters and neurodegeneration, which is super exciting. But um, my point is that we were looking at specific um, phenotypes in neurodegeneration while studying it in different models, stem cell derived models of different diseases. And what we would see is some common um, common traits of those cells uh, in culture. So when they get neurodegeneration, there will be a, a plethora of other symptoms that they would be having, such as increased reactive oxygen species in the culture and neuroinflammation going on and uh, you know activation of, of different um, kind of enzymes like sirtuins and PARBs that are dealing with you know, DNA damage uh, because there is increased DNA damage because of the reactive oxygen species, basically. So we've seen this spiral of death in the cells, um, and they all would have this, this characteristics, which is very interesting. So what I did after that is that I looked at different human clinical studies as well, and also studies from, you know, postmortem tissues to see what are the characteristics of um, of neurodegeneration in the human brain. And the data were quite consistent. So if the data are like, if the phenotype is consistent, this means that, um, you know, there should be some sort of a solution to prevent the symptoms from manifesting. So this was my, my train of thought, basically. And then, you know, with myself, I've been a supplement enthusiast for so many years. I've been taking different supplements. Um, and I realized that all, from the um, like 30 supplements, uh, around 30 supplements that I take per day, a third of those are for my brain. And I realized, mm -hmm. okay, well, this seems quite laborious. And the problem here is that, especially when you're traveling in different countries, for example, it's hard to find the uh, supplements that you want in the right dosages. So such an example could be uh, um, an L-tyrosine supplement, for instance. So there are companies that are selling this huge humongous dosages of L-tyrosine, which is 500 mg per day, 750 mg per capsule. And, you know, at, at this kind of dosages, you will be having a profound effect, which does make the product, you know, basically like selling very well. But at the same time, there is no reason to take something like this that, that can boost your mood so much because everything that has a stimulatory effect will have a withdrawal effect afterwards as well. And, you know, I had recently a friend, she was going through a divorce and she went to a psychiatrist and the psychiatrist, instead of um, prescribing her antidepressants, he just gave her L-tyrosine at a very high <laughs> dosage. And she said, yeah, I feel so much happier. I, uh, you know, I feel great. And I'm like, yeah, of course you do, because you're, you're getting this huge dosage of L-tyrosine that boosts, that spikes your dopamine production, of course you feel great. But you know, what is the what is the consequence of that? So with that in mind, I realized that, for example, for myself, I don't see a reason to take such a huge amount of L-tyrosine. However, I would still want to supplement with just a bit of it to kind of, you know, maintain a great baseline for cognitive function. And this is what we did with NAD brain. So just to put things into perspective. So in one, um, in one um, uh, serving of NAD brain, for example, we do have 100 mg of L-tyrosine. So this is 50 mg per capsule, basically, uh, right? Not 500, not 750 <laughs> mg and so on. Uh, and of course, 
what we wanted to do is we wanted to have a supplement that can produce short-term effects of focus and concentration um, in the right um, in, uh, with the right effects, basically. So for example, we have the caffeine uh, and L-thionine within this blend in order to maintain focus and alertness, but without the jitters, because the ratio of caffeine to L-thionine is actually quite um, quite important to be one to, one to two ratio. And then we also have all of the neuroprotective effects in the long term that basically prevent the leakage of NAD in your brain and make sure that you also, um, you know, fight things like neuroinflammation and reactive oxygen species with different antioxidants that we have in the blend. And this was the rationale be, uh, behind developing this formula, because I couldn't find such a supplement for myself. I couldn't find all the right dosages of uh, the compounds that would have a positive effect on my cognitive ability, but also protect my brain from aging and from the NAD leakage. So for example, we have the apigenin in there, which is um, a bioflavonoid, is very powerful, um, has been shown to prevent... Um, you know, the buildup of inflammation. It has an anti-inflammatory effect and it also blocks the uh, CD38 enzyme, which basically um, is draining your NAD levels, right? So we have mm -hmm. that. We have the fisetin in this blend as well as an ingredient, um, which is also remarkable for both um, um, cardio health and brain health because it actually has been shown to have a protective effect against ischemic, ischemic stroke in human clinical study. It also, it has been shown to prevent, prevent the buildup of CRP, C-reactive protein. And uh, all of these compounds, they are blood-brain barrier permeable, uh, meaning that they do penetrate the brain and they do... Um, uh, they, they do provide a positive effect on your brain. And back to the neurotransmission now. So I mentioned on, you know, the L-tyrosine, we also uh, have put um, a small dosage of CT choline in there, which is also a very crucial compound for your brain, for brain functionality. And uh, it basically is a precursor for the human brain to start producing choline, um, another neurotransmitter. And basically what happened is that like you get preservation of normal neuronal structure and function with this compound. So uh, all of the ingredients uh, in this blend have been studied extensively. And um, I might have mentioned in a previous interview that if I could choose one supplement for my uh, for my body, for my overall health, it would be the NMN. Well, if I could choose one supplement for my brain, it would be the NAD brain because that's the, like, it, it was impossible to just choose one particular compound for brain health. And that's the reason why I formulated the NAD brain. And it took almost two years with our R&D team uh, going back and forth to kind of formulate this and to make sure that, um, you know, all the dosages are exactly right for uh, daily consumption. And interestingly, you know, I started taking it myself and I started experimenting with uh, dosages. So our recommended serving size is two capsules, but actually the safety threshold for all of the ingredients is much, much higher. So actually it depends on how much caffeine you actually want to consume because there are people that, you know, consume a lot of caffeine and drink like multiple cups of coffee per day. So instead of that, they can take the NAD brain. Uh, so it's 25 mg of caffeine per capsule, just to put it into perspective. Um, a shot of espresso would have around 63 mg of uh, of caffeine. Um, so, you know, you kind of have to standardize this for yourself and let's say titrate it. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so I was experimenting with that and I was cutting uh, back on my coffee consumption and I was consuming the NAD brain. So this was very interesting for me to see on like what would be the effect on that. And honestly, I'm absolutely amused by the effect because it's so much better than we thought it would be for the human brain, not only in terms of concentration, but, you know, customers report basically being, um, being more stress resistant, being happier because, you know, we do increase their function in baseline of neurotransmission with the supplement. Um, however, we don't have the withdrawals that other supplements uh, of like very high dosages of, of neurotransmitter compounds would have. So this is amazing to see. And also for me personally, um, you know, I, I've seen that with my sleep, the difference is, is tremendous, like so much more vivid dreams. And also because I can track 
my um you know my my sleep basically and and, and see how much deep sleep i'm getting how much rem uh, i'm getting and the interesting part is that at some point maybe i can send you the screenshot and maybe we can include this here somewhere on the screen for for people to see is that like I take the NAD brain and then my brain wave activity throughout the night is like a pretty cardiogram. It goes like this and you can see the REM cycles and the deep sleep is just the most incredible thing I've ever seen in my life because like I've never seen such a um, beautiful sleep architecture um, before, mm -hmm. before I started taking this. So this was a very you know, very pleasant surprise to see uh, with other people as well, customers reporting that they do see more vivid dreams and such. Um, so, you know, I think that you kind of have to titrate it um, to your own needs because, for example, with two capsules per day, I, I'm not seeing this effect, but I'm seeing this effect if I'm taking four or five capsules a day. And then at this point, I'm just, you know, like I just stop uh, coffee uh, consumption <laughs> during the day and I just switch to the NAD brain. Um, so, so yeah, so that's the overview and, you know, um, L-thionine, which is, um, a great ingredient for brain health may promote, uh, basically a wakeful meditative state, which is the alpha brain, uh, wave state during the day. And therefore you have this effect of productivity and kind of feeling like you can, you can focus much, much better than without it, basically, because, you know, people that take a lot of caffeine without the l thionine will have the jitters. And actually, instead of having more laser focus, they will be having, uh, you know, like more ADHD like symptoms, basically. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, so that's the overview of the NAD brain and, you know, how, how did this formula came to life and why we developed it? Yeah. So I assume you need to take it in the morning since it has caffeine, yes. a reasonable amount of caffeine in it. Okay. There was a yeah. couple of couple of the ingredients that you didn't talk about. Um, mm -hmm. So there's uh, B6 and B5. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. what do they, why were they included? Yeah, absolutely. So, so B vitamins are... Uh, crucial for the nervous system. And B6, for example, we can't produce by ourselves, so we need to take it externally, um, especially for people that don't consume a lot of meat products, animal products, they're not going to be getting enough um, enough vitamin B6 in their diet. And vitamin B6 also has a neuroprotective effect, but also uh, it helps other ingredients, both B5 and B6. And uh, on that note, also phosphatidylserine, which is another ingredient in the blend. They, uh, like these three ingredients, they do help the other ingredients that we have in the mix to basically uh, cross the blood brain barrier and be and being utilized in the human brain even more. So this is uh, this was the rationale behind that. There is a synergy between B6 and zinc as well, another compound that we have in the mix that is shown to promote both cognitive function but also memory performance. So this is all from human uh, clinical studies. We have robust evidence with pretty much all of the ingredients in the mix uh, in terms of human clinical studies. So all are very well-known um, clinically studied compounds that we put because this is where our focus is at NMN Bio. We do concentrate, we do focus on quality. Um, and, you know, I've been actually, so some funny stories that I was recently recruiting a new operations manager. So someone from another supplement company applied, a big nootropics company actually, so great fit. Um, but the amount, like the, the reasoning behind marketing a product in other companies is just insane because he was just telling me, well, you know, like we're just a marketing company and we happen to come up with this formula from, and wait, what, <laughs> what do you mean? You're a marketing company, like you're selling supplements. You need to be improving human's health. Right. And, and this is what, um, it does it for me. Like, this is why I'm running NMN Bio because my main mission is to improve the health and the productivity of, of our customers. And I realized that, you know, like the more we refine our formulas, the more effect the customers will be having, uh, the more, um, the more, the more accomplishments they will be able to 
um, to to perform basically throughout their career and improve their productivity. And there are so many people out there that are complaining about brain fog, you know, and memory lapses and things like that. And this starts um, maybe even in their 20s and definitely in their 30s. And then I realized for myself, because I've been always biohacking my body and my brain pretty well, um, I realized that you don't have to suffer from brain fog, okay? So you, like, this is not mandatory and this is not natural. Just like the aging process is not natural, brain fog is also not natural. And you can actually offset it with many, many ways, including supplementation. Um, so... I realized, okay, well, that's why we're launching the NAD brain product. And that's why we're we're putting all of this amazing ingredients together at this particular dosages, because we can alleviate the pain and the suffering of brain fog and, you know, bad memory and, and things like that. And, and this is the main selling point when we're talking about customers in their 30s. Um, however, it's also worth noting that over the age of 60, one in five people will get mind, uh, mild cognitive decline. So this is 20% of population over the age of 60. And this is, this is, you know, like a mind blowing statistic. And I actually think with what I'm seeing from the market and, and the feedback from different people is that like this number is probably higher because our nutrition is basically deteriorating in the Western mm -hmm. world. Like it's becoming, you know, like a, a big amount of ultra processed foods and such. And then uh, people keep on complaining about their memory and concentration more and more every day, like uh, all over the place. So for me, you know, I think this was this was um, inevitable that the first proprietary blend that we're going to launch is going to have this focus of preserving the, um, the NAD in the brain and preserving the cognitive function for as long as possible. So would you need to, so supposing you're taking other supplements, like I am, is there anything uh, that you would need to be cognizant of in terms of overdosing? Because it's something in NAD brain and, and I'm also taking, I don't know, like fisetin on the side. Yeah, yeah. So uh, as I said, you know, all of the um, uh, toxicity thresholds, which is the, another criterion that we're looking at when we're formulating our supplements are much, much higher. So I can't see any potential uh, interaction for the vast majority of people. Uh, of course, this is not a medical advice. And mm -hmm. whenever you're introducing a new supplement, you should be consulting with your <laughs> uh, with, with your medical doctor, right? Especially when you're taking um, drugs and such, for sure. Uh, but all of them are natural compounds and all of them have a robust safety profile. So I'm not worried about that that much. In general, with supplements, there are some nootropic uh, compounds, for example, in other blends that could be interacting with uh, different medications such as heart disease medication and so on. Um, I'm not going to call out any names of competitors mm -hmm. <laughs> at this point, but, um, you know, uh, or things like uh, Bacopa Monieri, I believe, and, and other, uh, which is not in our blend, um, uh, could be interacting with CBD products, for example, right? And then they could even cause psychotic episodes in high concentrations and things like that. We scanned for all that and we don't have any compounds that have a known history of, um, you know, of, of having such side effects, basically. When we're talking about uh, the human brain in general and the vital ingredients that you need for, for human health, something that is not in our supplements, something that is not in our NAD brain uh, is omega-3 fish oil. Mm -hmm. So this is Wiley's Finest, one of my personal favorites. I'm not affiliated with the company. Uh, I'm not uh, getting paid to promote this product, but uh, it's my absolute favorite, especially this one, Peak EPA. It has a high concentration uh, in EPA and... Um, um, the whole production line that they have basically ensures that the product is not oxidized. And a very mm -hmm. uh, simple rule of thumb is when you open a bottle of omega-3 fish oil, whether it's liquid or capsules, if it does have a very intense smell of fish, this means that it's already oxidized. So the um, like a good uh, fish oil product, you're going to open it and there will be hardly any uh, any smell. 
Um, so that's another thing to to kind of have in mind here. Right. So although this is called NAD plus brain, it doesn't actually have any NAD precursors. So you would take NMN as well? Or- yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. So it does not contain any NAD because the, uh, the synergistic effect of the NAD brain components will basically uh, prevent your NAD from leaking. Uh, so that's point number one. And point number two, yes, of course, uh, we actually do sell the NAD brain uh, in our mor- morning bundle as well, besides uh, besides mm-hmm. it being a standalone product. So in our morning bundle, we do have the NAD brain, the NMN, and also the TMG, trimethylglycin, uh, which is also a great supplement to take for liver health, but also to kind of give the methyl groups to NMN to be metabolized more efficiently. So uh, I personally, you know, take those every morning together and we're, we're seeing great effects with our customers as well. And basically what happens is that, so the NMN would uh, nourish your cells and give your cells the NAD that they need in order to function uh, properly, which will give you more energy and focus, which will reduce your afternoon fatigue. So it gives you physical energy pretty much like after long-term supplementation and gives you a better uh, physical function baseline, basically. Mm. And then the NAD brain gives you the mental energy to carry through, you know, stressful situations and, uh, you know, a lot of challenging meetings and things like that. Because I've recently heard people complaining about... Um, about phasing out in lengthy meetings all day, right? And now with um, the work from home economy, like everyone's sitting in front of their, um, you know, laptop screen all day long and they're having all these lengthy meetings and everyone is phasing out. It's actually pretty bad out there. I'm still like, I'm getting more and more data from the market and, you know, it's, um, I, I, I think that people don't really understand uh, how important it is to kind of have a very rigorous approach to your health and a very systematic approach to your health. 